Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and having become the Prof's first in-house admissions consultant three years ago, I've now helped more than 100 students secure offers at the best universities in the UK. In this video, I'm going to give you five quick tips on your undergraduate application for land economy at the University of Cambridge. Before starting, it's worth noting this is a highly competitive course where the acceptance rate is around 11% year on year. Whilst you don't have to sit tests before you submit your application, there will be an interview as part of the process. It's therefore absolutely critical that you understand what land economy is and the various academic disciplines that make up land economy. So without further ado, here are my five quick tips. Tip number one, make sure you pair this course with similar courses on your UCAS application. As you know, as part of UCAS, you submit one application for five courses, often at five different universities. Land economy at Cambridge is unique. And as such, there are rarely other courses that have the exact same name or the exact same syllabus elsewhere. It's therefore really important that you find courses at other universities that cover similar topics in geography, economics, law, politics, international relations, and even finance. The ones that come to mind right away are perhaps courses at LSE, Warwick, Exeter, York, and even Southampton. Please make sure that you make this choice early and you get it right because this course is so competitive that you do not want to damage your chances at your other four universities when applying to Cambridge. My second tip, like with any other undergraduate application, you need to create a unique identity and it must be for this course academic. You therefore need to find something that is unique to land economy and I would recommend you looking at the Department of Land Economy website I would look at the different research centres that Cambridge offer, and I would look at the 2022, 2023 and 2024 publications from professors at Cambridge to understand these big themes and these big debates in the world of land economy. Too many students simply miss this, or they end up writing a personal statement about economics or about geography or even about law that simply doesn't hit the nail on the head when it comes to land economy as its own individual subject. My third piece of advice, again, like with other applications, is substantiate this unique academic identity with supercurriculars. More and more often now, the best universities like Cambridge are not only judging you against the other applicants from around the world, but they're also comparing your application to students at your school, especially if you come from a great school with lots of Cambridge applicants. It's there important that you go beyond school, beyond the essays you might be writing or the EPQs you might be completing or the school trips you might have gone on and do your own thing over the Easter, Christmas or summer break. The big things that I think I would really look out for, and I get all of my candidates to do, is try and enter an essay competition. The Royal Ge Geography Society has a great one, but also the Marshall Society at Cambridge, or even the John Locke Essay Competition at Oxford. Look at the different categories, and think less about the question and more about how you could write a land economy answer to one of those questions that they ask. It might be a question in politics or economics and, or geography, but it will give you the opportunity perhaps to use concepts and theories that you've read about in land economy. Please make the most of those opportunities. On top of that, try and get to Cambridge and go to one of their public talks. If you're based elsewhere, I'm sure you can find an academic institution in your local city, town or region that similarly has talks on topics that are relevant to land economy. And make sure that you're then exploring these through readings, not only those on Cambridge's website, but also extra readings that you can come across on your own. One of the early exercises that I do in the first couple of sessions with all of my candidates is to look at what you're most interested in and put together a reading list of three or four readings that are relevant to land economy and that also nicely tie together your academic curiosity. It's really, really important for this application. My fourth tip 
is understand the current mega themes in land economy. So right now, this might be the climate crisis. It might be housing or a lack thereof. It might be issues in international development. It could also be a shift from shareholder primacy towards stakeholder capitalism. These big academic themes that are being debated in the world of academic land economy right now by the type of professors that will be teaching you at Cambridge are really important. And the people that read your application and the people that interview you are going to want to talk about these and want to see evidence of these in your application. So please know what they are first, pick one or two that really interest you and then explore it in as much detail as possible. Last but not least, it's very easy when applying to land economy to think that work experience, internships and those non-academic skills are important on your application. As with other courses, they can add some weight and they can make you look like more of an all-rounder that Cambridge will appreciate. However, it is the academic skills, the proof of intellectual curiosity that they are looking for above anything else. So therefore, I would focus this part of your personal statement on your independent research skills, your ability to structure essays, your ability to conduct qualitative and especially quantitative research beyond any internship or work experience that you may have done. If you have done relevant internship or work experience, great, but find a way to link it to those academic skills that Cambridge are looking for. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe for more content. If you or anyone you know is thinking about applying to an undergraduate course at Cambridge, especially land economy, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at the profs. Good luck.